Just yeah. let me take this opportunity to welcome and thank you all immensely for making a special effort to be here this morning uh, for this handing over ceremony, which will see the handing over of technological packages developed by Cardi regarding crops, livestock, and cut flowers for our stakeholders in the agricultural sector. As you know, um, the European Union made funds available to the tune of 10.3 million euros for agricultural development in St. Lucia. We have probably a total of 27 projects. Um, CADI has been working very close with us and three contracts were issued to CADI. The first one was um, for the value chain analysis, uh, which of course took approximately eight months uh, to complete. A lot of work was done in terms of collection of data, collection of a lot of information. Uh, there was quite a bit of training regarding value chain analysis for um, specific persons in our, in specific persons um, from the agricultural sector. And out of all the work that was done, um, CADI was able to identify five crops, um, of course, with a lot of potential for value added. Uh, these crops can also contribute to the growth and development and transformation of the agricultural sector. They are eggs, honey, small ruminants, cassava, and tomatoes. Uh, the second contract that was issued to CADI was um, for cluster facilitation, to look at all the, indi the individual uh, commodities mentioned and um, to try and identify where along each chain that clusters can be formed. This second project started uh, just recently. Um, just last week, um, CADI had um, a training session in business management for stakeholders in the agricultural sector. And there are quite a few other capacity building efforts. Um, and this is going to take us probably well into um, early, early next year. The third contract that was issued to CADI of course, is for the technology, development of technological packages. Um, this particular project started in February 2015. And of course, we are here to hand over the technological packages in September 2016. However, we have to recognize that the developing technological packages with um, production guidelines and cost of production guidelines, of course, will require a lot of editing. So there was quite a bit of back and forth between CADI and the ministry, our technical officers, you know, trying to finalize um, each technological package. So it took quite a, a while, and I'm happy that we have gotten to um, this point. The ministry is currently um, working on printing approximately 8,000 copies to start um, to distribute to our stakeholders or our other beneficiaries of this project, of course, of this project, which range from our extension officers, our crop producers, livestock producers, um, farmers involved in cut flower production, um, teachers, students, and anybody else who's interested in the cultivation of any of the individual um, commodities. I also think that these tech packs are very necessary for us because a lot of the information that we have now um, is technologically outdated and a lot of the improved methodologies um, are not being documented. So I think all in all, um, this project is absolutely necessary. Um, the ministry, we are going to create a link on the ministry's website so that you know anybody who's interested can also access information regarding each com commodity via um, the website. So I do think that this project is very timely and will go a long way in terms of contributing to the growth and development of the agricultural sector. The contracts were signed, uh, I think, around December 2014 and uh, early 2015. And uh, the stipulation of the contract is that this project should have ended within eight months' time. For some reason, the EU and uh, the national authorizing officers seem to have this eight-month 
idea or eight month eight months timeline because this is not the only one as Mr. Comte would have mentioned the the other project was also the first one the uh, value chain was given a timeline of eight months and then this tech parks was also given a timeline of eight months from the signing of the of the contract now writing 40 tech parks is really not um, an easy task that it really should have been carded for eight months. But having written it is one thing, but reviewing it, and as Mr. Compton said, there has been a lot of to and fro between CADI and the uh, ministry's uh, technical personnel to try and ensure that first the information is relevant, and secondly, that they are accurate. And so there was indeed a lot of dialogue in between ourselves. And uh, if you look at the finished product, the completion date was stamped on the product actually in November 2015. But between November 2015 and now, probably the last couple of months, there were a lot of back and forth. So notwithstanding that, CADI has to, we want to apologize to the National Authorizing Officer and also to the clients that it really wasn't the intention to have this thing delayed for so long. But having said that, I think the best thing is we are now at a point where we want to share in the product. And uh, uh, Mr. Compton has alluded to 8,000 copies being reproduced. And if you look at the contract, there's a, a list of beneficiaries, including processors, uh, marketers, uh, extension, the ministry personnel, and all that. In fact, there's a list of about, if I'm not mistaken, about 10 groups of, um, of beneficiaries. And all are supposed to be using the material. So we really have to make sure that it is comprehensive for the good and use of a, 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 a large number of uh, clients. So we are pleased that we are now at this stage where we want to hand over. The package includes five categories. There's roots and tubers, fruits and vegetables, three crops, uh, flowers, and then livestock. And so, and within each of these categories, there are a number of commodities. So in all, there are 40 such commodities for which there's a, a tech pack for each of them. So it is really a comprehensive set of material. Now my only plea, I know Mr. Compton said that there's going to be a link on the website. But as somebody said, these days, websites are, website is an archive. You really can go uh, very far with it. So my own plea is that in addition to the 8,000 copies, and uh, in addition to the link on the website, I would suggest that we have the word version of the documents. Let us take out the cover, because the, the covers really make the files very big. So if we eliminate the covers and just have a, this fancy covers and just have a, a written cover for it, I'm sure we can ask especially the extension offices to put it on the, on the, on the SD disk in their mobile phone so that they can access it more readily whilst they are on the go. Instead of waiting to find a an internet connection to go to the website to make reference to it if you are in the field or somewhere else. So I suggest probably they can also have it on their on their on their scan disks and, and uh, on, as part of the mobile usage of the of the material. And of course there will be students that will need to be accessed. And at this stage I want to take the opportunity to reference an app that CADI has developed. In fact, there are two apps which are available on the Google Play Store. 
Unfortunately, it's only for Android and not for the iOS, iOS people. But one is called Cardi SR Learn, C E R D I space S R, meaning small ruminants, and then there's a dash, and then Learn, L E A R N. That's the name of one app. The second app has the same structure, except that is dash market. I'm sure if you Google it now, you can get it. It's in the Play Store. Now, the reason I'm mentioning that is that for the small remnant, especially for Dr. Best and others who are interested in that, it is really an, ad in an, an addition to perhaps the livestock um, tech park that we have here. But it's dedicated to small remnant and it really features the Caribbean literature and uh, um, processes and uh, good practices. And so it gives credence and, and lends itself to learning. Is it really intended to be uh, a virtual, virtual learning process? So we can download from the, a, there's a Moodle platform that you can download the material from onto the mobile phone so that it can be with you anywhere that you go and probably the students will be very interested in it. The second one, which is really a marketing app, is supposed to be able to link buyers and sellers in the small ruminant industry, where if you have some animals to sell, you can use it to link to other uh, interested uh, producers who may want to buy, or if you have a product that small ruminant product or small, small ruminant um, uh, what call it, some materials and services that you need to dispose of, you can use it as a, as a platform to share the information and to be able to communicate with each other. So, Mr. Chair, I thought I should include this in the package because it's all in the interest and in the, in the name of making technology available to the stakeholders and also to the processors. So, with this short remarks, on behalf of CARDI, we are pleased to have partnered with the ministry. And as I said, there are two other projects or contracts that we have executed. And I'm sure as the Agricultural Transformation Program and the BAM continues, there may still be other avenues for CADI and the ministry and the National Authorizing Officer also to cooperate and collaborate. And so we are pleased to be here to hand over the, the work that we have done under this project to the ministry. Thank you. From a policy perspective, the Ministry of Agriculture operates in the seven, seven thematic areas, and I have coined it, um, for me to remember it, I have coined it FLANCES, F-L-A-N-C-E-S. Uh, F um, refers to food, pol um, food security, L, land-related issues, A, appropriate technology, N, new enterprises, C, capacity building, E, expanding markets, and S, um, sustainable, de um, sustainable development. So that helps me remember the, the policies of the Ministry of Agriculture, which governs our work. And um, I was trying to see how it relates to that specific exercise that um, that Cardi had over the past eight months to develop the 40 tech packs um, under five different categories, targeting 10 different stakeholders. And I see it falls quite nicely because no longer is banana our main crop. We can, we can no longer depend up, upon bananas. We have to diversify around bananas. And the issue of food security comes into place. When you diversify around bananas, you, you're ensuring that you have different crops to, to, to supply your, your population. So that's good. The issue of appropriate technology also comes into place there because you, you're now dabbling in, in new crops, new, new enterprises. So that makes it appropriate. Um, again, new enterprises, um, you 
you develop new enterprises, you, 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 you study the food chain, and so you can target new enterprises to enhance the development of agriculture in St. Lucia. Uh, again, capacity building falls right in place. So as I look at the, the, the assignment to CARI, I realize that it, it was very needs-based in that it dealt with many of the policy areas um, that the Ministry of Agriculture targets. And um, as I said earlier, the fact that um, uh, um, banana production is no longer the, the primary, uh, the mainstay of St. Lucia or the region, for example, we have to look very keenly at developing other crops, other crops, other enterprises to ensure that as a, as a nation we can sustain our agriculture and we can feed our population. Um, what, what are the implications of, of these tech packs? Um, I see a multiplicity of, of, of impacts from the perspective that our technical staff would become more equipped with a, a, a reservoir of new information that they can pass on to the farming community. I see the schools can make good use of it because many times they come across looking for scientific information on, on different crops, in terms of the cost of production, in terms of various aspects of crops. And I think that that, that data set or this, this package provides a, a unique avenue for them to explore. Um, and we are told that it can be put on, on our, our website where, again, it, it provides information to a, a wider cadre of persons who may be interested in agriculture. And this may, may be a, a catalyst in encouraging other persons to get involved in agricultural production. Um, so having said all of this, I want to take the opportunity to thank um, Mr. Compton for doing an excellent work um, under the BAMP in facilitating these projects. And we want to thank also Cadi for taking up the challenge and running it with it to develop the 40 tech packs for the 40 crops that, um, um, that we have requested, which falls into tree crops, vegetables, roots, um, livestock, and I think there was a, f a fifth one. Flowers. Flowers, right. So I think it will be a very useful package, and I trust that as we move forward, we would make better use of this information and help to develop our agricultural sector. So once again, I want to thank everyone for coming here and thank Caddy for doing an excellent job in preparing the packages. Thank you. So, um, the director, on behalf of Caddy, we to present these tech packs to the Ministry of Agriculture and we are really hopeful and very expectant that they will be of use to develop Thank you very much. Uh, on behalf of the Ministry of Agriculture, thank you for doing an excellent job.